how to win, how to win more often, what are the stages to create winning mentality? Let's get inspired by famous volleyball coach Julio Velasco. Hi, I'm Jerry Popelka, Volley Country founder. My channel is about volleyball advice, tips and exercises. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notification on. Argentine coach Julio Velasco is known around the world. He is not only a great volleyball coach and coach of uh, professional teams and national teams, his personality is behind the building of a successful training system in Iran, which today is one of the world's elite in the out volleyball. He is now responsible for the development of uh, yacht volleyball in Italy. But let's get back to his thoughts and opinions that inspire coaches around the world. How to achieve victory? How do you create a winning mentality? Julio Velasco always answers these questions with a paradox, by winning. The problem and the basic question is how to win. Julio Velasco is working with three phases or steps how to create a winning mentality. Defeat your own shortcomings and limits. The first is the victory over one's own shortcomings and limits. We all have some limits. Uh, some players are shorter, some players are not spiking or receiving as they want. There are also players with lack of confidence. And we can think about many other shortcomings. We know about them and sometimes we fear them. For example, we are in stress at the end of the set when we have to receive and we don't want to make a mistake. The role of the coach is crucial at this stage. They must set easily achievable goals in the way that allows you to do the steps step by step. This is one of the most important message. Coach is here for player and not player for the coach. I know from my own experience that some coaches prefer to practice complex exercises with a lot of inputs for players. And many times players are not capable to make these exercises. So at the end the coach is not happy with players since they aren't capable to accomplish his fantastic exercise which took him several hours to prepare. That's why coaches should think first all about the players and it's important to go step by step in trainings. Once you learn simple skill or exercise, you can continue with more demanding or complex exercise, but never start from more difficult thing to easier one. Above all, coach is here to help individuals, young players to solve their shortcomings. You know that we are not the same. One player can be good in attack and bad in block, other is good receiver and weak server. That's why we need to take this in consideration as a coaches and help each individual player with his uh, shortcomings. Also keep in mind that players are developing. One day they aren't capable to do simple exercise and in a month it can be a piece of cake for them. So be patient with them. Realize that difficulties are not obstacles to development. Trainings is needed uh, to overcome difficulties. Honest and regular training. We can't expect that young players will overcome uh, shortcomings uh, without practice. We can't think that uh, without practice the players will get better. In fact, uh, we need thousands of ball touches to master each of six volleyball skills. We need to work on individual technique, uh, team skills and many more things. If you want to improve yourself, check out my online volleyball course with more than 120 wall exercises. In 40 minute wall training, you can make more than 1000 wall touches and these touches will significantly help you to improve your volleyball skills. But if you really think about being the best player or you are coaching young players with goal to achieve great results, you need to work on other things than just on uh, volleyball skills. I call these things eight elements of volleyball player, since they all affect uh, our performance and we should work on all of them. Anyway, this is the second step to win. Training is needed to overcome difficulties. We must uh, no longer perceive difficulties as something that uh, hinders development, but as a chance to overcome them through training. Defeat your opponents. The third phase is about the opponent, uh, opponents, uh, challengers. It's scheduled. On the one hand, uh, there are challenging opponents that I have within my reach teams of the same level and quality. On the other hand, in the same time period, I try to challenge even the best teams, even though I know that the loss is expected in advance. And this is what serves me to anchor the high point of reference of my game. Because uh, sometimes we learn more by losing with a strong opponent uh, than by winning over a weaker team. 
So when you are training or playing games, don't think only about your teammate or actual opponent. Don't compare yourself only with them. Think about other situations. Uh, imagine yourself playing against similar team from other country. Think about yourself uh, competing with better or famous teams. Try to challenge uh, better players or teams. You can learn from them more than from weaker teams. Don't be upset with a loss against them. Take it as a motivation for your work, for your practice. Sometimes your opponent can be also inside you. Some players are the stars in local or national competitions. They know they are the best. And they start to act as a stars. They start to show to others I am the king not only on the court but also outside of the gym. In my eyes this is bad attitude uh, because once you start to act as a star, you are losing focus, uh, your will to improve. You think I am the best, why should I practice and 100% or more than others? This is exactly the point when other players from your team or players which you didn't met uh, from other country will start to get better than you. So don't think about acting as a volleyball star, think about playing as a volleyball star. Ok, remember that three stages to creating a winning mentality are beat your own shortcomings and limits, realize that difficulties are not obstacles to development, think about them as the opportunities to overcome them by training, defeat your opponents. I believe these three steps how to create winning mentality will help you to become a better player or a coach. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.